now see there are the many physical quantities some are some quantities are taken as fundamental quantities fundamental quantities we take here first one is length and it is measured in meter so your symbol is m second one is mass that is written here kg kilograms third you can take time unit is second we write s fourth one is electric current we measure in ampere and we write a fifth one is temperature we write k that is actually kelvin and sixth one is amount of substance that is written mole mol and seventh one is luminous intensity luminous intensity is written its unit is candlelight is written cd so see here there are seven basic quantities length mass time electric current temperature amount of substance luminous intensity these are measured it is measured in meter kg kilogram that is second ampere kelvin mole and candela so these units are known as fundamental units so these units can be referred as fundamental units besides these seven qu fundamental quantities there are two supplementary quantities also so supplementary quantities are here first one is plane angle which is measured in radian and symbol is used here rad another one is solid angle and this is here is stair radian and symbol is used sr so these two quantities are considered as supplementary quantities what is a plane angle if you have taken any arc like this whose length is suppose l and the angle subtended by this arc at the center is theta and this is radius r so one radian is that angle subtended by an arc at the center whose length is equal to the radius of the circle so we can write theta is equal to l by r is equal to if l is equal to r then we can write theta is equal to 1 radian and 1 radian is equal to 57.7 degree similarly here we can write here the pi radian is equal to 180 degree then you can take pi by 2 radian is equal to 90 degree now see for solid angle suppose you have taken any surface here like this and it is subtending an angle here that is d omega so this d omega is equal to that is its area and this is r so whatever the d suppose it is here da so we can write da upon r square so this is here the plane angle so when the angle is subtended by the surface of a sphere at a point that is known as solid angle so there are another type of quantities which are known as derived quantities see here derived quantities or derived units derived quantities are obtained by multiplying or dividing two or more fundamental quantities you have done just like a fundamental quantities length mass time etc so suppose you are taking a speed you can write a speed is equal to distance upon time actually distance is the length and time is here only this one is taken as time so see here speed is obtained 
by dividing two fundamental quantities one is length another one is time. Similarly, if you are getting area, area is equal to length into breadth. See here, length is one quantity and breadth is also a length. So, you are multiplying the length two times, then you are getting here another quantity that is known as area. If you are writing the unit of speed, unit of speed, so unit of speed, you know is the length can be measured in meter, time can be measured in second. So, we can write meter per second. Area, area unit of area we can write is meter square. So, these units are known as derived units. So, see here when we divide or multiply two or more fundamental quantities or units, we get derived quantities or derived units. But take care, if you are adding two quantities, you cannot get another quantity because only two quantities having same units can be added or subtracted.